All right, cool. Man's got a little strawberry there, innit? And what we're going to do here yeah, is extract the DNA from the strawberry, innit? So we're going to put it into a little bag and then squeeze it up nice and that. You know what I'm saying? We're going to break up the cell membrane. You're done, though. And then we need to add an extraction solution, innit? So the washing up liquid is going to dissolve the cell membrane so that all of the DNA can be released. And then we add a little table salt and that so that the DNA will clump together, innit? Then we mix it with a little water, innit? All right, cool. So now you can add the extraction solution to the strawberry thing and that, innit? And obviously, you got to close the bag and then mix it up nice and that. You know what I'm saying, cuz? And after that, yeah, you got to get a boiling tube and a funnel and then a little filter paper and that you gotta fold it up nice and that you know what i'm saying then after that you gotta filter off the thing in it because obviously you don't want bare bits in that you just want the juice in that you know what i'm saying because you can see the thing bare dripping in that uh, boom now yeah we've got to add some isopropanol alcohol in it now this is going to cause the dna to actually precipitate out of the solution you see all them little white strands in that that's the dna thing in it so obviously man's going to take it out and that and obviously put it on the table and you can see it properly in it you know what i'm saying dna settings and that with the strawberry and that we out here cuz now you can do this with bananas as well but it works best with strawberries in it and that's because strawberries are octoploid which means that they've got eight copies of each chromosome whereas bananas have only got three copies so strawberries have got a bare dna fam you done know we're out here fam